Welcome to the fascinating world of aquaristics. If you've ever wondered about the variety and awesomeness of living creatures for your aquarium, then Cory catfish will certainly appeal to you. These mysterious aquarium inhabitants amaze with their unique behavior, charm and unique appearance. In this video we will dive into the world of these bottom fish, study their lifestyle, learn about interesting facts and features of the content. You will plunge into a world of amazing discoveries and useful information about the life of these wonderful creatures. Watch the video to the end and you will learn why they have become one of the favorites of many aquarists. I invite you to subscribe to my channel to not miss new exciting materials about the world of aquarium inhabitants and other amazing creatures. Cory catfish are justly included in the list of the most sought after aquarium fish. Currently, there are about 200 known species of Corydoras but there are constantly new descriptions of species that have not yet been studied by science. The genus name comes from the two Greek words Coris and Doras. The first of the words means helmet, and the second, armor. Cori catfish and indeed have a kind of armor, all over the body are several rows of overlapping bone plates that allow catfish to protect themselves from predators. Fish are extremely peaceful, have an interesting behavior and very well clean the bottom of the aquarium from the remnants of food, for what corridors and receive the love and recognition of millions of aquarists. Cori catfish are fish that are similar to each other, mostly differing only in coloration. They have a short body, rounded abdomen and convex back. Along the back are several rows of bony plates, forming the appearance of a carapace. This is reflected in the name of the family to which the cori belong, shell catfish. The mouth of the catfish is located at the bottom and is perfectly adapted for eating food from the bottom of the aquarium. One of the characteristic features of Corydoras are three pairs of antennae near the mouth, two pairs above the upper jaw and one pair, under the lower. They perform several important functions. First, tendrils catfish dig in the soft ground in search of food. Secondly, they serve as a means of tactile perception, allowing Corydoras to navigate in murky water. Pectoral fins are also a means of defense due to the sharp rays on the edges, so when transferring from one aquarium to another should be careful to avoid injury. The coloration of Corydoras is extremely varied and depends on the specific species. The main color can be both uniform and include spots or stripes all over the body or in some parts of it. It is also possible to meet albino forms, with a completely white body and red eyes. Cori catfish naturally inhabit the rivers of Central and South America. These fish can be found in the basins of the Amazon, Paraguay and Orinoco rivers, which flow through the territories of the largest countries of the continent. Cori prefer bodies of stagnant, slow-flowing water. In the wild, they usually hide in dense algal vegetation and spend their time constantly searching for food in the ground. In the period after the rains, Many river tributaries, which are inhabited by Corydoras, can dry up. To survive in these conditions, catfish have developed the ability to ingest air from the surface of the water, similar to labyrinth fish. They use this method, called gut breathing, by absorbing oxygen through their large intestine, as they don't have a specialized organ for this. And what species of Corydoras exist, I'll tell you in the next video, so be sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out. Cory Catfish gregarious fish, so it is best to have a flock of four to six individuals in the aquarium. The minimum volume of the aquarium for a pair of fish, 30 liters. Much attention should be paid to the ground. It should not contain sharp edges, as the fish can damage their sensitive antennae. When choosing the size of the soil, it is better to focus on a large sandy or small pebble. Corydoras love to swarm in the ground, and if it is very large, the catfish will feel uncomfortable. In addition, in the space between the stones often falls food for fish, which Corydoras cannot get, and the accumulation of organic matter can lead to a number of problems in the aquarium. Despite the fact that in nature, Corydoras are able to live in very turbid water, oriented with the help of tendrils near the mouth, in the aquarium it is better to create a good filtration and aeration. In the case of lack of oxygen fish will very often rise to the surface of the water and swallow a portion of air. Cory catfish are crepuscular inhabitants. Their activity begins in the dark. Therefore, in the aquarium should create diffuse lighting and install shelters in which Corydoras will rest during the day, such as artificial grottos or natural snacks. Corydoras are rightly considered one of the most resilient fish that can adapt to almost any conditions of content. The temperature for them can vary from 22 to 25 degrees Celsius. Above this temperature, the water is better not to heat, catfish will be uncomfortable. Water is preferable soft, similar to the conditions in nature, but Corydoras feel quite well in very hard water. Similarly, and with the pH value, it is not recommended to allow sharp jumps in water parameters, the more stable will be the environment, the better. 
Corydoras catfish like dense thickets of live plants, they can hide from enemies or wait out the daylight hours. You can plant any species you like, the fish will not do them any harm. Quarry catfish, gregarious fish, so it is desirable to have them in the aquarium from 4 to 6 individuals. They are excellent for living with other species in a common aquarium. These peaceful fish swim mainly in the bottom layers of water. The best neighbors for Corydorosov will be viviparous fish, Molynesia, swordfish, Basilia, guppies, calm barbs, tetras and neons, scalaria and other dwarf cichlids. In no case can not sit catfish with large and aggressive cichlids, astronidus, acaras. In this case, even the armor Corydorosov may be useless. Not the best neighbors will be an extremely heat-loving discus. The optimal temperature of their content is much higher than comfortable for Corydorosa. Also possible clashes with other benthic species, Bosha, Geranohalusa, etc. Although ancestors quite well get along with Corydoras. Like other benthic fish Cory catfish prefer fast sinking sinking to the bottom of the food. The optimal option is the so-called fast sinking catfish tablets. This food contains a complex of nutrients with vitamins. Live in frozen feet, it is not recommended to give. Vitamins get little, and harm by doing so can cause infection in the aquarium. Breeding Corydoras is not very difficult and can be done even by a novice aquarist. First of all, it is necessary to choose a pair of producers. Sexual dimorphism in Corydorosov is weakly expressed. Females are usually larger and have a more intense coloration of the body, dorsal fin short and rounded. Puberty in fish comes at the age of about 8 months. For breeding will need a spawning aquarium with a volume of 7 gallons. It is desirable to place one female and two to three males. To stimulate spawning in the aquarium is added fresh cold water. The temperature is lowered by a few degrees. Included enhanced aeration. Cover the bottom of the ground is not necessary. It is better to put in the aquarium live plant with wide leaves. For example, Anubias. Catfish placed in the aquarium in the evening. Then it will be desirable to set the aquarium close to the window. Sunlight serves as another push to spawn. It may be necessary to wait a few days before the process begins. Usually breeding begins in the morning or afternoon and lasts a few hours. The fertilization process is quite unusual. The males chase the female for a while, after which she takes milk in her mouth, and the eggs are deposited in the folded pelvic fins. Then the female finds a suitable place on the glass or plants, smears the eggs with milk and glues the eggs to it. The procedure is repeated again. Such a mechanism increases the percentage of fertilized eggs. During one spawning, a female can lay up to 200 eggs. After spawning, the producers must be removed. The incubation period lasts 5 to 6 days at a temperature of 23 to 25 degrees Celsius. Unfortunately, for such a long period, many eggs can be covered with fungus and die. Therefore, the best option would be to raise the temperature in the spawning aquarium to 27 to 28 degrees Celsius. This will accelerate the development of eggs and reduce the incubation period to 3 days, thus reducing the risk of fungal attack. After the appearance of fry, the temperature is gradually lowered to the usual level. Corydoros fry are relatively large and there are usually no problems with feeding. You can even use tablets for catfish. It is very amusing to watch how the fry adorn them from all sides. At the age of 30 days, the size of the fish reaches about 1 centimeter. I hope you enjoyed this video and now you know who are Corydoras. With you like, bye bye.